Hi everyone, in this video we will discuss about AWS Well Architected Framework. So architecture is the art, techniques or the science of designing and building a structure. And now to build those structure we need architect and we need those architects to handle or to manage these large systems due to their maybe size and complexity. For example, we have an architecture of some building and as a result of this architecture, we can have such nice building. Of course, this is just, just an example. Don't try to map it because they are like different. Anyway, so this architecture and this is the resultant product. Now, if you talk about cloud computing, so cloud computing is defined as the availability of computer system resources. And those computer system resources can be computing power, storage, or database and now cloud architecture cloud computing architecture refers to the components and subcomponents which make up this environment and uh, now to make that architecture or cloud architecture we need a cloud architect and cloud art architect is one who converts the technical requirements uh, of on-premises network and shift them to cloud let's say and this actually cloud architect is there to identify the business uh, uh, outcomes or business goals of any organizations and on the basis of the business goals he or she can suggest some of the cloud uh, components now let's say this is an organization and there is some cloud architect who is going to listen to all the requirements of some specific business so he, he has a, a business problem and he will be mapping or he'll be suggesting on the basis of those problems he'll be suggesting something in the cloud some solutions in the cloud now for to help those architects aw has has developed a well architect uh, framework which can help those architects to build some secure high performing resilient and efficient infrastructure and that infrastructure can be used for a variety of applications and workloads so AWS well architected framework provides the best practices to help evaluate and implement cloud architecture let's we have we have uh, let's say we have some ec2 instances we have some databases there maybe we have cloudwatch so whatever we use and how we use for all those things we need some guidelines some best practices and for this aws has developed this aws well architected framework and they have developed this architecture by reviewing thousands of customer architectures on aws and the AWS Well Architected Framework provides consistent approach for customers and partners to evaluate architecture and implement scalable designs. And what AWS offers to architect is that, so this offers or uh, this documents a set of foundational questions. And those foundational questions allow you to understand if a specific architecture aligns well with cloud best practices for example you have got uh, you have subscribed for subscribed for some of the services by AWS cloud and now you want to see whether those things are really best aligned with the best practices or not now on this slides we have some general design principles of uh, AWS well architected framework so as per general principles they are there to help build good design in the cloud and these are some general principles so one of them is stop guessing your capacity needs so it means what are your needs don't try to guess it you may be wrong sometimes you may be subscribing for less resources sometimes maybe more resources so they these decisions should be actually flexible sometimes we will be running out of the resources and we will have more than the required resources so in this way cloud actually provides a basis by which we can auto more auto uh, make these things i mean you can scale up or scale down those resources you can increase or decrease those required resources so that's the flexibility and the second principle is test system at production scale 
and the cloud computing gives you the flexibility to deploy enough resources to test your system and once you have tested your system you can decommission those resources and you only need to pay for that much amount of time when you were testing your system and the third principle is to automate or the automate to make architectural experimentation easier so in this way we can create a replicate workloads automatically it means we, if we want to um, make some experimentation so those experimentations can be automated and uh, they can they can help us to monitor or audit whatever changes we are making during our experimentations and during this the experimentation if something is not working as per expectation then maybe those changes can be reverted fourth principle is allow for evolutionary architecture so cloud offers capability to automate and test our design which allow for evolution of our design so evolution of our design is necessary because with time our requirements may change and uh, in legacy system this was really challenging because we used to purchase something static but with help of cloud we can actually have a room for evolution of our architectures which we are using in the cloud and the fifth principle is drive architectures using data so what happens here so with the cloud we can get data on how our architectures our architectural changes are affecting our workloads so we have some resources or the code and how they are being affected and we can get all this in a data format and the cloud architecture in cloud architecture itself is a code and we can use that data for improvement of our architecture which basically is a code so drive architectures using data and the and the sixth principle is improve through game days so game refers to simulated failure or event to test our system let's say we have a system and we want to test it so for that we can simulate this failure and event and by doing so we actually want to understand the gaps and this also helps us develop organizational experience in dealing with the events like whether our team is ready to handle such kind of uh, failures or events so these are some general design principles which are part of well-architected framework aws well-architected framework actually provides a set of questions and design principles uh, across five pillars and uh, so it's around six pillars and these pillars are uh, operational excellence security reliability performance efficiency cost optimization and sustainability and now these all pillars include a set of design principles and best practice areas and each best practice areas there are some foundational questions and those foundational questions actually help to understand if our specific architecture aligns with the cloud best practices this is what we wanted to discuss today and we'll continue discussing this aws well architected framework pillars in our future video and thank you thank you for your time hope to see you in some other in, in future video